Hi, this is Mark, and I'm going to introduce you to the SV9100 Virtual Extensions. Virtual Extensions are just that. They're virtual extensions that only exist in a logical form. There's no physical extension. They can be assigned to buttons on a telephone, and they can be programmed to ring or ring on a delay or just simply flash. They're really good to use to uh, notify a particular person that they're receiving a call for a particular reason. Uh, you can also use them, as in this example, to ring multiple phones at one time. So I have, uh, let me bring that up for you. The example is we have two phones, 1101 and 1102. We have the control room, the electrical department, mechanical, electronic department, engineering, and all ring. And we have extension 1102 down here with the same exact buttons. And in red, I have the actual buttons that are in the program, so 1 through 24. So that way we can locate the virtual extension when we go to make it ring. All right, what do you need? Well, you need to uh, find in programming 1104, you're going to assign the actual virtual extension to the numbering plan that allows you now to assign it to a button. With assigning it to a button, you'll go to program 1507. But first of all, let me just take you into virtual numbering. Here you go, you can see that I've pre-programmed these are my virtual ports and the extension numbers that I assigned. As long as it's a valid number, you can add any number you want in there. If you go to program 1507, you'll find the function keys. You can see down here I've already assigned these virtual keys to buttons 13 and all the way through 18. And if you look at this document here, you can see there's buttons 13 through 18. So it's the third row, left to right, 13 through 18. All right, those numbers are there. And currently, if you call them, they will flash red only. But I need them to ring. And again, in my example, I want extension 1101 let me jot that down, to ring on button 14. Button 14 is the electrician shop. Its extension is 1120. You see down here, 1120. It's 1120 here. And I want it to ring on button 14. Down below, I have extension 1102. And the engineering department is button 17 which is really extension, virtual extension 1150. Okay, So 1150 is assigned to this button here, and 1120 is assigned to this button right here. Go back to programming, you'll see there's those numbers, 1120 and 1150. So let's make them ring. So if I go in down to function keys, I'm sorry, Go down to virtual extension ring. Find the first phone, in this case, 1120, I mean, excuse me, 1101. I found 1101. Remember I told you that was function key 14, right there. So I'm gonna go to 14. I'm on the correct extension. Go to button 14, and I'm gonna click the two modes. Mode one is day, mode two is night. NEC does allow eight modes if you divide it up enough. So just by, for Grinzies, I always do all eight. It makes me feel better. And I hit apply. Okay, so that makes that first button, button 14, function key 14, ring to the uh, extension that I signed there, the virtual extension. Second phone, 1102, I want button 17 to ring. So I'll go down to 1102, find button 17, assign it to ring in all modes. 
Again, I don't really need one and two. Most people only have a day mode and a night mode, but I, I usually do all of them just in case something changes in the future. Hit apply. If you noticed, 18 was already set to ring. And if we go back to look at the extension before, it was also set to ring. In fact, you go look at any multi-line phone, 18 is set to ring. Why is 18 set to ring? Well, if you noticed, on my telephone, I have 18 is set as an all ring. So when you call in, if you dial extension 4199, it will ring all the phones that are multi-line telephones on this button. And it's also down here. So that's how we do that. If you have any questions, feel free to call me or email me at uh, helpdesk at shotrock.com. That's S-H-O-T-R-O-K.com. Thanks.